In ancient times, a king had his men place a boulder on a roadway. He then hid in the bushes, and watched to see if anyone would move the boulder out of the way. Some of the king's wealthiest merchants and courtiers passed by and simply walked around it. Many people blamed the king for not keeping the roads clear, but none of them did anything about getting the stone removed. One day, a peasant came along carrying vegetables. Upon approaching the boulder, the peasant laid down his burden and tried to push the stone out of the way. After much pushing and straining, he finally managed. After the peasant went back to pick up his vegetables, he noticed a purse lying in the road where the boulder had been. The purse contained many gold coins and note from the king explained that the gold was for the person who removed the boulder from the road. There once was a little boy who had a very bad temper. His father decided to hand him a bag of nails and said that every time the boy lost his temper, he had to hammer a nail into the fence. On the first day, the boy hammered 37 nails into that fence. The boy gradually began to control his temper over the next few weeks and the number of nails he was hammering into the fence slowly decreased. He discovered it was easier to control his temper than to hammer those nails into the fence. Finally, the day came when the boy didn't lose his temper at all. He told his father the news and the father suggested that the boy should now pull out a nail every day he kept his temper under control. The days passed and the young boy was finally able to tell his father that all the nails were gone. The father took his son by the hand and led him to the fence. You have done well, my son, but look at the holes in the fence. The fence will never be the same. When you say things in anger, they leave a scar just like this one. You can put a knife in a man and draw it out. It won't matter how many times you say I'm sorry, the wound is still there. A shop owner placed a sign above his door that said, Puppies for sale. Signs like this always have a way of attracting young children, and to no surprise, a boy saw the sign and approached the owner. How much are you going to sell the puppies for? he asked. The store owner replied, Anywhere from $30 to $50. The little boy pulled out some change from his pocket. I have dollar two dot thirty seven, he said. Can I please look at them? The shop owner smiled and whistled. Out of the kennel came Lady, who ran down the aisle of his shop followed by five teeny, tiny balls of fur. One puppy was lagging considerably behind. Immediately the little boy singled out the lagging, limping puppy and said, What's wrong with that little dog? The shop owner explained that the veterinarian had examined the little puppy and had discovered it didn't have a hip socket. It would always limp. It would always be lame. The little boy became excited. That is the puppy that I want to buy, the shop owner said. No, you don't want to buy that little dog. If you really want him, I'll just give him to you. The little boy got quite upset. He looked straight into the store owner's eyes, pointing his finger, and said, 
I don't want you to give him to me. That little dog is worth every bit as much as all the other dogs and I'll pay full price. In fact, I'll give you $2.37 now, and 50 cents a month until I have him paid for. The shop owner countered, You really don't want to buy this little dog? He is never going to be able to run and jump and play with you like the other puppies. To his surprise, the little boy reached down and rolled up his punt leg to reveal a badly twisted, crippled left leg supported by a big metal brace. He looked up at the shop owner and softly replied, Well, I don't run so well myself, and the little puppy will need someone who understands.